Iconography is Greek for ikonografo, writing with images. So essentially, iconography is the written gospel. When you see a saint, you see the life of Christ in that saint. When you see, obviously, the life of Christ around the church, you'll see images from his life, whether it be the baptism, the resurrection, the crucifixion, the Last Supper. You can see that throughout this church. Over the centuries, their um, iconography was important to communicate the scripture because you, people couldn't read, so consequently you had to show in pictures what the scripture said. The responsibility of creating these divine images was placed in the skillful hands of iconographer Demetrius Morlos. Morlos took his first art lessons in 1963 at the age of 13 and went on to study the centuries-old art form of iconography. In selecting uh, Dimitri, he was um, interviewed here and we got to see his work in some of, the, uh, some of his other churches. We spoke with the communities there, their iconography committees, and they gave fantastic references that he's timely, works within budget, and wonderful, wonderful to work with. What sealed the deal was we have cameras that were on the church and the closed circuit was in my office and one of the cameras was on him as he was painting or finishing an icon and so he, he didn't think anyone was watching him. So he would stroke the canvas, stop and look at it, and fix and do what he was doing, and then he'd do his cross, and then he'd continue. For the iconographer, each and every one of these icons uh, was an act of prayer, an act of devotion. He's not an artist, he's not a painter, and he doesn't think of himself as an artist or a painter. This entire project for him was an act of prayer. I'd say that's part of the education of iconography. Uh, understanding that, you know, as it was being put up, the work and how that work was prayerfully conducted. You know, I, I wish every parishioner could, could see the prayerful work that's done. When I go back from, from phase one through the final phase to really understand and appreciate iconography, you really have to see the iconographer at work and prayerfully at work to appreciate the meaning of it. I feel a great iconographer must be having, as he's painting and writing the icon, he's having a spiritual experience and maybe a divine experience. The choice of uh, iconographer was relatively easy only because when I met him, uh, Dimitris Mudlas, I, I, I saw faith. I saw humble, humility, dedicated worker for the glory of God. Father Elias shared with us of how he was so confident he chose the right iconographer because he often saw him before he would begin his work praying and, and doing his cross. And right at that moment he knew this is, this is the right man and we picked the right person to complete the iconography of the church.